Hello YouTube, Dan the Tech here. So I figured I'd give you guys an update on uh, what happened with my customer with the studs and lugs with custom offsets on the 2020 Tundra. So custom offsets reached out to me yesterday here at the garage and wanted to know what my opinion was as to why the lugs failed. And I told them that the shoulder on the lugs was way too thin and their alloy was weak in my opinion. I understood and explained to them what I thought they were trying to do with that style lug nut with a collar that goes through the bore on the wheel around the lug. Um, they were attempting to mimic the OEM Toyota lug nut that have a shoulder on them that go between the hub face bore on stock Toyota wheels that go around the lug, around the stud I should say. Um, told them what I did, told them, you know, my torque sequence, I use a torque stick when the vehicle's in the air, then after I drop the vehicle down, I go to three quarter torque, then I go back around, I go full torque, and then I tell my customers between 50 and 100 miles come back so I could double check the torque. I uh, explained everything to them. Uh, they were very appreciative for the information that I provided, and they also told me that they are actually working on giving partial reimbursement to my customer for the repair that I had to do for him because the lug nuts failed. Um, they were they were very receptive in the conversation, and I was pleasantly surprised because the, the route that I was initially led to believe that my customer was also led to believe was that they weren't going to do anything. It was his fault, and I told them that there's no way that A, that collar should have been on that lug nut, B, there's no way he installed them improperly because I had two of the lug nuts come off with the collar still on them. If he had installed those incorrectly, he would have known at 10 miles an hour that those wheels were not flush on the hub surface. So that being said, custom offsets took everything I told them into account and they told me that they were probably going to be reaching back out to me about two more times. Um, somebody's calling me. And, uh, you know, they're going to go from there. So, we're probably going to wind up becoming a custom offsets authorized installer here at Coast. Uh, based on the information I gave custom offsets as a company, from my professional experience, knowledge, and opinion, and you know, all all around, everything worked out really well. Uh, customers happy he got everything done, didn't damage the wheels. Uh, custom offsets was happy because I was able to give them a resolution to a problem that they weren't sure about. So all the way around, this worked out a lot better than I initially thought it was going to. So good for you, Custom Offset. That that's that's awesome. You know, I gave you guys a lot of flack in this video or in the previous video with the Tundra, and you know, kudos to you. You are doing the right thing, and that's not always the case with large companies where you know. A lot of companies look at people as just another number, another dollar amount, you know, too big to fail, you know, one person is just a drop in the bucket. So I got to give credit where credit is due. Custom Offsets is doing right by my customer for the faulty product. So um, I'm curious to see what happens and what the next conversation is with Custom Offsets. Um, so, if there's any update other than what I've already told you, I will definitely let you guys know. So, custom offsets, you know, a little disappointing at first, but they, they did the right thing. That was integrity, you know? And that was really nice to hear. And I was super impressed with the conversation I had with them and how receptive they were to the information I gave them. So... 
hope you guys found you know this little bit of information interesting i know i found it interesting and you know i i i, I kind of it's a bit of a humbling experience to have that large of a company reach out to me individually and ask me my opinion and actually take my opinion for actual merit you know that 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 was you know a, a once in a career moment or one in a few career moments so uh you know that's awesome you know i'm i've worked really hard to get to the point that i'm at in my career right now and anybody can get to this point but you got to have the tenacity to do it you got to have the ambition you got to have the drive you know i started as a loop tech and now i'm lead tech you know i started with a cart and now i've got a huge box with tens of thousands of dollars in tools in it so you know anybody can get to where i'm at and i'm nowhere near where i want to be yet you know i it, i always want to grow i'm always thirsty for knowledge and i think as soon as you become apathetic where you're content with being stagnant and you don't have any more ambition is when you should probably think about making a career change. And that's in any aspect of life, in any career field. You know, I had an English teacher tell me that apathy is the most dangerous word in the English language. And it took me a long time to fully grasp that. So, uh, you know, just a little bit of a little bit of information, you know, just in life in general right there. So, stay tuned. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Help me grow, because as I grow, I'm going to start doing giveaways. And the giveaways will keep going as I grow progressively. So, thank you, YouTube. I appreciate all the support. Help me grow, and I will show my appreciation unequivocally. Thank you, guys. Be good.